Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Candice. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a upload, okay? Because we are lit over here, okay? We're lit. So today you guys, I am doing something that, like I always say I'm gonna do, but I just haven't done it. Like I always um, ask you guys like on my Instagram, um, I'm gonna do a Q and A. So send me juicy questions and topics. And you guys always do like, <laughs> shout out to y'all because you guys always send me like juicy stuff. And um, I don't know, like either something happens where I just don't upload it or um, I forget about it. I don't know. but. Last Q&A that I did on my channel was about like four years ago. Um, you guys sent some questions, so I'm gonna answer them. And I'm gonna go through um, all of the questions that I have. I just basically like saved them and screenshotted them. So um, I'm gonna just be flipping through my phone. And so I'm gonna try to answer them as best as I can. <laughs> Y'all can grab some popcorn grab you some snacks and we're going to quarantine and chill together and we're gonna answer these questions so yeah and also you guys before i even like answer them i want you guys to comment below if y'all know the answer to them because you know my candy land y'all got some true ogs out there okay like when i had 50 subscribers like y'all are still rocking with me so comment down below if y'all know the answers to these before i even answer them okay i did like the little polls like thing that you do on your instagram story so um shout out to my ig fam yes you guys i know my instagram um it's private right now well it becomes like private and um like public every so often um i'm just trying to like clean up my page and like get it aesthetically pleasing for the public eye so bear with me but i know that um a lot of you guys still do follow me on ig so shout out to my subbies who sent in questions and my followers who did as well the first question i got oh this is for my baby blue um she said are you going to beauty con next year so <clears throat> i was actually talking about this with another um youtuber who she's from new york you guys know they have beauty con in new york la um i don't know if they do like text i think dallas i don't know but i know for sure like new york and la and as you guys know like i live in la so um I definitely do want to experience BeautyCon. I have never been to BeautyCon at all. And I was actually gonna try and go this year, but I think it's canceled due to everything that's going on. So um, next year, I definitely do wanna go to BeautyCon. However, I don't know if I wanna go to BeautyCon in LA or if I wanna go to BeautyCon in New York. I've never been to New York before, so I kind of wanted to make that like one big experience, like me going to New York and then me actually like being able to go to BeautyCon. So yes, I do plan to go to BeautyCon next year. Um, I don't consider myself like a, well, I don't know, but I do want to go because I do like makeup and things like that. So yeah. So the next question I got, <laughs> this is from my cousin. This is crazy. Um, my cousin said, why is your last relationship in? And it's crazy because um, I got like two other questions like this were like similar, basically like, am I dating? What happened to my last relationship? Blah, 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 blah. And so um, my last relationship um, ended because basically like we were just incompatible. It just didn't work. Um, I actually did a story time on him. <laughs> I know story times on all y'all. No, I'm just kidding. But I actually did a story time on him. Um, earlier this year but basically it didn't work we were incompatible it just didn't work um so yeah and then just to answer like all the other like questions because i know in a vlog that i did maybe 
two or three vlogs ago, I was on FaceTime with somebody and um in my vlog and I like I knew what I was doing. Like I purposely put that there, but um you know, I guess that made people think that like I was in like a relationship or whatever, but um I am I don't want to say I I'm dating someone. I'm entertaining someone. And I have been for a while now, so um, yeah, but I'm not in a relationship. And um, yeah, like I know some people, you know, who are YouTubers, they um, even in like the talking phase and like the talking stage, they like publicly, you know, put it out there. They'll post pictures and um, like videos and stuff like that of the person or they'll like you know publicly you know acknowledge them i don't have a problem doing because you know what i'm saying i don't but at the same time like when it comes to being like a youtuber you guys like i think i've talked about this before in another q a i did or life update but when it comes to like being a YouTuber and being someone who is actively behind a camera, whether it's like on Instagram or you're, you know, doing videos, um, not everybody chooses that lifestyle. So I never want to like intimidate or like scare someone off by like putting them in front of the camera. And I know like back in the day, like I said, if you guys are true, like, Candyland supporters when I had like 25 or 50 subscribers um me and my ex-boyfriend we did have a lot of videos on this channel but we did not have a joint channel together we never did that but we did have like vlogs and we did like two challenges or whatever so I have had a public relationship on my YouTube channel however as of right now I don't see myself putting him on my YouTube we have talked about it but until me and him are serious I don't want to introduce him to you guys because you know just like your YouTube your favorite youtubers who you guys watch like you want to know like what happened to so-and-so I do the same thing like when I'm watching my favorite youtubers and then they delete all their pictures with these people and I'm like what happened you know so you're you know not nosy but like you want to know what's going on and I just want to you know make sure that we're in a comfortable enough space for us to make videos and stuff together and for him to like be on camera and then also if that's something that that person even wants to do not everybody like I said wants to be a youtuber not everybody wants to be on camera not everybody wants to publicize their um you know life or whatever like this is something that I chose to do again so I'm not about to make you know my man's them <laughs> I'm not about to make you know my babe my boo you know pop up on the scene you know doing videos however if that's something that we talk about and it comes up and he wants to then you know we'll see but that's just not something that I'm just rushing to do because I've done that before and luckily back then like I said I didn't have like a bunch of subscribers and I still don't have a bunch of subscribers but you know it's a couple hundred of y'all who be watching me so it's different when I had 15 of you guys and it was just kind of easier to delete all the videos and move on but now it's more like you know okay who is this guy you know what I'm saying certain people get um invested in youtubers and I am like one of them I have a lot of youtubers who I love to watch their channel i love to watch their videos and you know if they upload a video with their spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend like i'm invested i want to know did it work out or not <laughs> so someone said not a question but you're beautiful thank you so much um what editing software do you use so um you guys i really don't even know the name of it <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i really don't know the name of it but um it's like a very basic software i edit on a pc not a mac so i don't have like um iMovie or final cut pro or whatever like people use whatever um which are better like editing softwares but i'm just so used to like a pc and how to edit on a pc that it doesn't matter what software it is like i just know how to use it not like super um like high tech or anything like that so i don't really have like a specific software like i'm always doing like vlogs or like you know i do a makeup tutorial here or there you know so my editing game is not that strong yet so i don't have like one to like you know 
to what's the word editing software that i would like tell y'all about and like rant and rave about because like i just use whichever one but the one that i have i think i paid like 69 dollars or something as like a one-time payment um and it's just something i googled like editing software for pcs and it was probably like the first or second one to come up i probably should have looked at reviews but it's been working fine for me so yeah fun places to go to in la so I actually get this question um, a lot from people who um, are basically YouTubers who live in other places and they're like traveling to LA because obviously people always want to come to LA, it's LA. I would say like fun places to go are obviously like, and I'm going to tell you guys fun places to go that are like touristy but like not things that I do because I was born and raised here but um, the beach, people love going to the beach or whatever, Venice Beach, Santa Monica, the malls, there's Fox Hills Mall, um, there's the Beverly Center, there's a the Crenshaw Mall, um, a lot of people like to go to like Hollywood, Compton, um, but I would say like fun places to go, um, I don't know y'all like like I said, it'd be different if I was from like another place and then I moved to LA like as an adult. But I was born and raised here so I never really did too many touristy things. The same things I enjoy, you guys would enjoy like in your hometown. Like I like going to the movies, I like getting my nails done, um, I like shopping. Like these are things that like y'all do so you know fun places specifically in LA are going to be the same fun places y'all go to in y'all places, in y'all like states. Like the movies, shopping, the only difference is like the beach, there's not beaches everywhere. Um, yeah like i don't know how to really do too much like i be in the house y'all i really don't know but basically just to say you in la so to take pictures in front of like you know the beverly hills sign the hollywood sign crenshaw and slauson you know what i'm saying people definitely love to go to like crenshaw and slauson because that's where you know nipsey is from so people take pictures in front of like his mural and stuff like that so yeah i guess you know those are places people like to go one said what's the best age to get married best age to get married so i'm not married you guys if you're new to my channel y'all i'm not married but like my other subscribers who have been here for a while y'all know i'm not married like i stated earlier obviously i'm dating um so yeah i don't know um when i was like 16 17 i used to think like you get married when you're 23 24 like that's when you do it but as i get older and um I don't know learn more, more about myself and acquire different tastes and different um requirements and stuff um it gets harder to find like your match like what i wanted when i was 21 and 22 is not even it doesn't even hold a candle to what i require now as a 25 year old woman you know what i'm saying so I can't answer that okay I think it's and then I think it's different for everybody there's not a specific age like okay you've hit 27 it's time like you know what I'm saying I mean I know people who've been married since they were 18 I know people who've got married when they were 35 so it just varies for you know person to person and I hate when people answer questions like this because it's just so vague but I mean y'all like I really don't know what to tell you because I'm not married so if I knew the perfect age then I would tell y'all because you know that would be the age I'm getting married but I don't know when I'm getting married so yeah I don't know these tattoos do you have um so y'all I real life have a lot of tattoos but they're very small well not a lot but I have more than six so they're very small um I have a tattoo behind my ear which is a best friend tattoo with my best friend it's like a heart and we got that when we were like 18 or 19 and then I have um a symbol on my on the back of my neck and it stands for faith it's actually um the japanese symbol for faith my grandfather who passed away some years ago i have his name on my back um and it's really small um and then i have a family tattoo with a bunch of my cousins um and it's in a really like I don't know why I chose to get that type of tattoo in that area, but it's 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 on my body. Um oh and then I have another best friend tattoo with my best friend. Oh my god, I'm like 
I know y'all be like, she is like obsessed with her best friend, but like y'all, when we was getting tattoos, we just wanted to get the same thing, so yeah. Uh, we have doves. Um, I have them on my leg. She has them, I think, on her stomach. Um, what else? What other tattoos do I have? Um, I feel like I'm missing like two. I definitely have about five. I think I have about five to six tattoos, but they're very small. Oh, I forgot I have my Taurus symbol right here. Like I have a lot, y'all. It's just I be forgetting where they're at. Um, so yeah, I have about five to six like tattoos or whatever. So yeah, shout out to my girl Nay. Um, she asked me what is my type of guy. My type of guy um, is definitely someone who is like loyal. Someone who, first of all, someone who's God fearing. Y'all, I've tried to date <laughs> men who didn't have the same faith as me, and literally, it just never ever works. Like, I've tried to, and I'm not talking about dating people who were like anti what I am however like I feel like that's just we have to share the same faith like we do like we can't be out here you doing this and I'm doing that because we don't believe in the same thing because we'll never be equally yoked so it definitely has to be someone who is God fearing and someone who is like the same religion as me I recommend that for everybody but that's just work that's just what works for me so it has to be someone who is like my same faith so it has to be someone who um is very like independent someone who you know what i'm saying takes care of like their business and then someone who's like dependable um, i love like a person who you know their parents can count on them for things their friends can count on on them for things and i love someone who is consistent i've dated too many guys who were just like in my life at one moment and then disappear the next and then pop up again like i can't do that so i need someone who's definitely consistent with me because that's just how that's just how my personal like that's just how me candace as a person that's how i like that's just what gets me like i need somebody to be consistent and then also someone who's like not afraid to teach me or to learn um which is a huge thing um i've dated guys where we would be I would be trying to teach them something and they felt like or they would act like they were too you know this or too that for me to teach them something I don't know if it's because I was a woman or what but I can't stand that and then I need a man to teach me um so definitely like you know that's a big thing for me like you have to be able to teach me something because you know we have to learn from each other babe like you know which is crazy because <laughs> the guy who i'm like dealing with now he like <sighs> meets all those expectations you guys like it's just so crazy like he literally reminds me of my dad like it is so crazy i tell my best friend this all the time like he reminds me of my dad and i don't compare him to like anybody that i've ever dated before because he's just not like anyone i've ever like talked to or dated before but you know he like all these things i'm naming like he literally like naturally does them it's not something i had to tell him like okay i like this i like that i like that he was like all right cool i'm gonna do this he started off doing all these like he started off doing all these things so yeah so yeah you guys um that's gonna be it for now uh i don't want to make this video too too long but i have been seeing some new subscribers come in and i just wanted to kind of like you know answer some questions so you guys could get to learn a little more about me thank you guys so much for just you know interact with me liking the video subscribing sharing dming me telling me you're watching it sending me screenshots videos i love that like i really do because it just lets me know that like all this hard work is not just for nothing okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye